Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you can see me in this light okay because I've only got um, a strip light standing up there with you know the little, it's like a, a tall pole with little lights dotted up and I've only got the sitting room light on. So because this is only just a, a really quick video that I wanted to do for my birthday. I know it's a little bit late but I thought I'd show you my birthday cards before I um, took them down. Um, oops, lost. Dropping all over the place now. Um, this one here is from oops, um, my sister and my brother-in-law and she put me some money in, well they put me some money in the card which was rather nice of them. This one is from my lovely friend Karen, that's Chocky Kaz that I met um, through doing videos and whatever and it's from Karen, Darren and Paul and she sent me this lovely blue scarf. This is weird this because I've been searching and searching for a blue scarf like a, a darker blue scarf of some sort and I've not been able to find anything that I'd liked um, because I wanted something that was quite quite plain and she sent me this and I, I'd been looking at scarves the day before this arrived for my birthday and I nearly bought something because I thought it's nearly right but it's not quite right so I decided not to and then this came and it's absolutely perfect and it's one of these really big long oblong scarves I mean it's huge you gather them in the middle so they're, they're really, really long. And then what I do is fold them in half and wrap them around my neck like that. Or you can literally just wrap them. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. Thank you, Karen. It's, it's perfect for what I wanted. And also she sent me this lovely little bracelet in this little pink drawstring bag. And it's one of these, um, like, I don't know, it's like a cord, thick cord with a gold, has gold ends on, a little gold chain for fastening it. And then it has these pretty shapes on it. These don't move. Some, sometimes they'll move up and down the, the, the bracelet, but these don't move. And I think that is so pretty. And it's like a, a pinky beige colour. And that's really, really nice. And I have worn it. I need to find a way of putting it on myself. I'm struggling. Um, I did actually see a device that you put your wrist in and you fasten one of the ends to this device and it ha it's like having a third hand and you fasten it to it. Um, but I just need to research that a little bit more. I'll go back to the cards. Um, this one is from one of my sons. This one is from Robert. He says to Mum. And Robert took me out. Um, he didn't buy me a present, but he did in a way. Um, he took me out to a lovely pub. And we had, because um, my, my, my birthday was on the Sunday, on the 16th of September, and it turned out to be a Sunday. So we had a gorgeous Sunday lunch and really, really enjoyed that. Unfortunately, James couldn't join us because he'd gone back to, um, I was going to say nursery, he'd gone back to university the Friday before. And this is from James. And this is one of these cards where you can actually pull that off and keep it. You either put them in a frame or carry them around in your purse, your handbag and whatever. And I thought that was so pretty, as was Robert's as well. And then... I got one from my sister-in-law and it says sister-in-law on there and that is from Steve's sister and my brother-in-law which I thought was nice and then this one is from my nice friend across the road um, it says <laughs> this one's funny it says happy people lots of people send um, cards with money inside and you see all these cards with money sticking out, you know. And then on the inside, it says, I looked everywhere and I couldn't find one like that. It says, have a great 
have a great day no money here it says I thought that was quite funny so that's the cards James bought me he knows he like he knows that I like soap and glory so he bought me a sugar body scrub and he knows this one's my favorite and it's the mashed brown sugar with sweet lime almond oil and macadamia grains and it smells so good Oh yeah, because you can really, really smell the lime. I mean, it looks like this. It's really gritty and it's really brown. Um, I wish you could smell it because it is gorgeous. Um, and then I went out um, at the beginning of the week because it's now nearly a week. Be a week. By the time this video goes up, it would have been a week since my birthday. And I came across two scarves. It's the same shape as the one that Karen sent me, but it's black and like a grey colour. And it's all these like different stripes going in different directions and then different shapes, but it's all stripey patterns going in all sorts of different things and it is as you could see when I was wearing it is one of these long ones again um, you know that you wrap around and wear and then I've got this really colourful one and this is really pretty um, it's going to bring the colours in for autumn I think it has like the peach colours the browns and this lovely blue so I was really pleased with this one and that is in stripes again so you get different different stripes going through so different patterns and whatever so yeah I'll put this one back on because my neck I've got a pro problem with my neck it's really bad uh, it just won't go away and it feels better when I have some sort of scarf around my neck so I'm just going to pop this one back on if I can get it on just try to fold it so it feels better when I've got a scarf around my neck and I picked up three small candle um, what are they called um, voltive candles are they I think they are and these are the one these are the Yankee candle ones and they're home in, in home inspiration from um let me just zoom you in a little bit no wrong way these are the ones that um asda carry and this one is uh called just picked berries and it smells like smells like the berries that you pick off the bushes um, late season you know like the blackberries and the damsons this one is called blues blueberry cheesecake and it is this lovely blue dark dark blue color candle and it really does smell like blueberries and um, has the real sweet smell of cheesecake this one is a Christmas one I could not resist it is the candy cane forest and it's the candy cane ones and it oh it smells so good I mean when you come in my house at Christmas uh, apart from this and the cookies the cookie smell vanilla cookies and all those scents around Christmas you will smell this one the most in my house it's lovely um, and then I went into home bargains and I came across um, I'm not sure if this is more Christmas this one or heading towards Halloween it is called warm apple and cinnamon it's one of these big jars and they're 2 99 these big jars and it's the Wickford and Co and it has 90 up to 95 hours of burning time and the candle size is hmm, what is the candle size did it tell you how much is in here 
I don't think it does. I don't think it tells you what the candle size is. Um, just that it has up to 95 hours burning. And, oh, it smells. So you can smell the cinnamon and you can smell the apples. Uh, I've not burnt this one. I've been waiting to do, I haven't burnt, there's another one here and I haven't burnt these other ones. Um, because I've been waiting to do this um, video and it's taken me forever to get round to getting it done. And the other one is a Halloween one and it is from Wickford Co again and it has 95, up to 95 hours burning and it's called Halloween. This is the Halloween one. And this one just smells of oranges and brown sugar. That's so all I can explain. Um, and that is, so far, is all I have bought. Um, the only money that I spent, what have I spent? Um, six, seven, eight. I spent about £10, roughly. Um, but I have got quite a bit more money that my, my sister sent me to spend. Um, so the makeup I have on, I'll give you a quick look. Whoops, zoom you in for my eyes. It's looking a little bit um, smudged, I think, because I have like, a bit of watery eyes. Um, this eye makeup is from the Sweet Peach, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And the eyeliner is um, Dip Down from MAC, the dark brown one. Um, my brows, which are, I don't know, are not very good today, I could not get them on properly, are by Zoeva. Um, the blush is one by um, W7. I can't for life of me remember what it's called and I didn't bring it with me, sorry about that. If I, I'll try and remember to list it in the down box below this video um, and again um, the contour is by another W7 so I'll list, try and my best to list it down for you um, and oh, the rest of my makeup is oh, Maybelline concealer um, the lipstick I have on, I don't have a lip liner on, the lipstick I have on is a number seven and it's called Deep Russet. I'll zoom you in so you can have a, a better look. It's called Deep Russet. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's going to focus for you. And I said, did I say it was number seven? That's this lovely russet, not quite brown, but it's this lovely russet colour. I don't know if you can see that better. But it's coming up quite peach, but it's a little bit more brown than peach. But it's a lovely, lovely lipstick. And it goes goes really well with this makeup that I have on, you know, with from the um, Sweet Peach palette. So I hope, I know this is a very, very quick vid. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else. No, there isn't. Um, so I'm just making sure. Oh, I have, I've got a book. It's a second hand book. Um, it's called I'm Watching You. And the, the writer is Karen Rose. Now I've just recently read one, one of her books and it was so interesting I just could not put it down um, I've been stuck to it like glue and I've only had started this one um, a couple of hours this morning um, when I was having to sit down and I've just oh I got really stuck to this um, and uh, I had just had to put it down because I knew the, the little girl across the road was having a little birthday party today. Uh, she just turned three yesterday. And I thought, oh, you know, I've really got to go and, um, you know, say hello and, and whatever. So I had to put it down. But I had a couple of hours of it this morning. That's what I've got read. Um, 
and I just can't wait to pick it up again. Um, so yeah, it's so far it's turning out to be really good. And the one previous to to what I, um, she'd written was really also really really good book. So I will let you know how I get on with that. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I will I think I will upload it at the beginning of um, this week which will be, oh, what date is it? Um, no phone, I don't know what the date, oh, I have got a phone. I'll tell you what date it will be, but not, not that it's going to help you. That's stupid, isn't it, Caroline? Think about that. It's not gonna help you, to, me telling you the date that it's gonna be up, because you only see it when I tell you in, the, in this video. So I won't bother telling you. <laughs> oh, Caroline, that is a right, mad madness um but it wouldn't be fun without my um ups and downs and my flukes that i put into my video and um make myself look daft sometimes so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you again soon bye bye for now